How's it going everyone? Mom's Spider here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today is going to be a really awesome, really chill day, as I'm probably going to be doing pack openings for the first hour, uh, which is crazy. It's not something I ever thought I'd be doing, but it's now a reality thanks to the awesome fans. Um, so yeah, for all of you, thank you so, so much. This is really, really awesome. So that's what's going to be happening today. Um, I've got some boosters to unlock and my collection to grow. So I got sent some really, really awesome boosters uh, from Jamie Viggy, sent me some Shining Legends and some Sun and Moon packs, and these are the last five Burning Shadows, which I'm really, really keen to open up. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Jamie Viggy. I'm really keen to open these up and to check what I get. And then Johnny Quest sent me 50 unbroken bonds with the hope of finally opening up my own Dedenne. So, uh, yeah, Johnny Quest, or oh, Johnny Quest X, this is awesome, my friend. Thank you so, so much. I'm super keen to open open these up. Hey, and Ricker TVG and Speak of the Devil, Johnny Quest, welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, yeah, you're definitely in time to check these out. So, I'm going to start up with the packs from Jamie Vicky, and then we're going to move on to the Unbroken Bonds, and let's see what we can get. So I've actually never opened up any of these uh, Shining Legends or any of the Sun and Moon packs. So I'm really keen to see what we get. So without further ado, let's start this pack opening. Um, if you see any like awesome cards, definitely like screenshot them or just like clip them and yeah, <laughs> let's see what we can pull. So I'm up to do like one, one, one. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go one, 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 one until these are, I've gone through these ones. So. Shining Legends, let's see if we can pull. Now I'm pretty sure, I, I definitely haven't opened up any of these, so I have no idea what's even inside them. Okay, uh, Zoror, not bad. Ivysaur, I'm always a sucker for the Ivysaur line. Uh, Torkoal, high pressure heat, doing an extra, the Pokemon high pressure heat does 50 more damage, eh, that's not terrible. Minimum, I must say, I never like Minimum Plus them too much. Though, some Pokemon from Gen 3 that I just never had any any love for. Uh, Jinx, Whiny Voice, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and shuffles it into the deck. Eh, eh, that's pretty cool. Ultra Ball, yeah, it's a thing. Um, for Alligator, I did like the For Alligator line. Crunch for 8, that's not bad, actually. Um, Scrofty. Scrafty, sorry. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a base Pokemon that does 50 more damage, that's not bad. Ooh, and a shiny Scraggy. Corp family, and then Headbutt. Alright, let's see what our first awesome card is in the Shining Legends. Oh, hello, Marsh Shadow. Let loose. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may have each player shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. Well, that's a nice card. Um... That is a very nice card. It's essentially a mon it's essentially a judge in Pokemon form. And then Shadow Punch, the tax damage is affected by resistance. Oh man, this was like scoop up net it would be so irritating for your opponent. <laughs> okay. Um, a very irritating Marsh Shadow. I like it. Okay, we're off to a pretty good start. Well, let's see what we can pull up from the Sun and Moon series. So Ricka TVG and Johnny Quest, how are you doing today, my friends? I'm glad you can pull through for the stream. Okay, so for the Sun Moon series, we got ourselves a Growlithe. Not a bad basic Pokemon, but like that energy charge is just ridiculous. Crabrawler, still for me, such a strange Pokemon. <laughs> it reminds me of Moana. Um, of the crab for Moana. The name escapes me right now. Um, yeah, it's weird. Marini, I really like this Pokemon a lot. I'm a sucker, as I said, for like poison bug types. Uh, Rogan Aurora, nice. The Lillian Rattata, uh, it's actually a decent line. Ooh, Charge Bugs. Um, Persimian, Fling, this tech does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and Team Play. This tech does 30 more damage for each of your bench Persimians. It's a really cool ability, it's not fantastic, but it's really cool. Uh, Lima? Each player shuffles their hand into their deck and flips a coin. If hairs there, that player draws six cards. If tails, they draw three. I love it. It's a, That's actually a super trolley card. I like it a lot. And then Q to fly. Fly around. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, flip a coin. If it's prevent that damage. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty decent. I mean, like, it's only 30 HP, so a gust of wind will knock it out. 
but <laughs> it's a pretty cool attack. And a Palosand with a wall of sand. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance and absorb vitality. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. Like, that would be really, really cool if it actually dealt more damage. Uh, Johnny Quest, I'm well, hoping for some good pulls. Yeah, me too, my friend. I am certainly hoping for some good pulls too. Um, yeah, let's let's see how today goes. I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm I'm in a good mood. I've had a I've had a decent week. Uh, this is actually been a really really awesome weekend for me as well. Um, so I'm feeling good. I think I think I get some really good pulls from here. Okay, nothing new from what we've got so far. But on the Mount Alana Killer, which is interesting, because um, this is one more, right? Yeah, it is one more. So that's an interesting card. So we've got two hidden cards. So let's see what we pull. The first one. There's another Electros. So I've got quite a few of these, so that's not a fantastic pull. But it's, eh, eh, it's one of those cool things. It's decent, I guess. And... Eh, Tangrowth. Giga Drain. Uh, heal the same amount of damage you, de you dealt, and then cross up. Eh, but disappointing. That's not, not the best pull in the world, but hey. Alright, well, Johnny Quest, let's open up the first card from you, the first booster from you, my friend. What do we get from the Unbroken Bonds? So let's see. This like anticipation always gets to me. Okay. Um. Ooh. Triple acceleration energy. That's quite nice. This card can only be attached to evolution Pokemon. If this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of the turn. This card provides three colorless energy only while it's attached to an evolution Pokemon. If the card is attached to anything other than evolution Pokemon, discard this card. Yeah, this is quite cool. Um. This can really come in handy. Try a welder with it and it works. Oh my word, five energy on w in one turn. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, gross, nice dude. Also, welcome my friend. Yeah, that is terrifying. Okay, got some cute Oddish, a Wooper, a Cottony, Spiritsy, uh, Gligar. I still like Gligar, it's such a, like a weird Pokemon. Oh, pack opening, yeah, Eagle. Um, welcome to the channel, uh, Eagle uh, 4KK. Uh, doing a whole bunch of pack openings today. I've got 50 of these unified uh, minds to get through, so I want to get through. I don't want to sound like it's, just, uh, it's disappointing, but like, yeah, I've got 50 of them to open up, um, as well as a whole range of other boosters. So if you're keen for some pack openings, definitely stick by. Fairy Charm ability. Uh, the fact that fairies are kind of going, which is quite, quite disappointing, but it's pretty cool. Oddish. I'm such a sucker for grass type Pokemon. My word, I love Oddish. And. Oh, well, hello, Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. Fairy song. So to deck up to two fairy type, uh, fairy energy cards, attach them to your benched Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. And then Collider Storm, 150 damage for move any number of energies from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Magical Miracle GX. If this Pokemon has at least three extra energy, uh, fairy energy attached to it, in addition to the energy's cost, your uh, tax cost, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck. Wait, just shuffles their hand into the I have never actually seen this card. Your opponent shuffles their hand into the deck. Oh, that is cool. Oh, Ghost1927, this is a nice pull. Oh, nice pull. I like it, this... That magical miracle, if you've got six energies on this card, that is just disgusting. Man, okay. That could be terrifying if that happens to you. Right, let's go take a look at uh, another Shining Legends. So I'm literally going one, 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 one. And uh, let's see what cards are going to open up today. I'm really keen to just sit back, relax, and check out some awesome, awesome cards. <laughs> Very similar uh, first four cards to the previous pack. Um, another Scraggy, uh, Floatzel, eh, it's, it's decent, I guess. Uh, Carnivine, Flick, Poison. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon, the new active Pokemon is now poisoned. That's actually not bad. That's not fantastic, but it's not bad. You can definitely mess with your opponent. Well, if I didn't have enough switches, I've got one more. Oh, an Incineroar, Profane Punch. If you're benched, a Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this deck is 80 more damage. That is not bad for two energies, 130 damage. And Flare Blitz, 180 for discard all energy from this Pokemon, or fire energy. I like it. And our awesome card is a Shaman. Flippity flap. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw six cards and rally back. 
If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack during their last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. Not the best Shaman, but a very awesome Shaman. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice supporter Pokemon. Alright, let's see what we can get from some Sun and Moons. Yeah, as I said, if you definitely see any cards you like, definitely give a shout out for it in the chat. Uh, because as I said, I'm still learning a lot of the collection. I'm still very new to Sandlin and Expanded. A Lowland Diglett with the awesome hair. Spelunk. Look at the top three cards of deck and put them back in any order. Uh, I guess that has its uses for a free attack. Dewpider. I like Dewpider. Stuffle. Corsola. Another prof if I need another prof for any reason. Baldor. Uh, not bad. A different art style though, which is quite interesting. Very different art style. Very, uh, it's interesting. Uh, a load of eradicate. Ooh, I got the shiny version of this now, which is quite cool. Because uh, it's actually a pretty interesting card. Because like, the more f the more Pokemon you have on your bench, the more pulls you can get from your deck with this. So it can actually be really, really interesting. And oh, a Primarina, disarming voice. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and sparkling. Area, um, Aria. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Ah, interesting. Quite a nice Pure Arena. So it's quite sad. This is one of the generations I never played the game from, uh, for. I just, I didn't have the correct, um, Game Boy at that time. So I, well, Nintendo DS at the time. So I've never actually played this generation, which is quite sad. I really hope I get a remake of this. Uh, well, ho hopefully we get a remake of this for Nintendo Switch. Because I'm quite sad, I've never played the generation, so I never really got to experience these Pokemon. Alright, Burning Shadows. What are you going to have for me today? We've got some awesome, awesome pulls from this before. So let's see what we can get. Uh, the Stuffle, one of the Meowth, Cabrawler, Charmander, Sneasel. Oh, I've got a Simmer Sage. Scratch and Leaf Supply. You may attach an energy card from your hand to any of your Pokemon. Hey, energy acceleration is always a good thing. Oh, another Super Scoop. Uh, scoop up, flip a coin of heads, put one of your Pokemon or cards attached to it into your hand. Very nice. And what do we get? Oh, a nice shiny Palosand. I'm getting a lot of Palosands recently. Um, Sand Tomb, the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn, and Dust Storm. Discard all cards from both active Pokemon. Interesting. And, ah, uh, just to beware. That could be better. Not terrible, but definitely could be better. Alright. Let's see. What do we have from our second Unbroken Bonds? Not Unifun Mines, sorry, Unbroken Bonds. Unifun Mines without the boost packs. Oh, that's a cute Squirtle. That is a very cute Squirtle. <laughs> I like that. Got us another Oddish. Very cute Squirtle. That's a really cool tentacle art um, artwork. Bubble Jutsu. Jutsu. Bubble Jutsu. If you played Janine from your hand during this turn, this tech does 50 more damage. That's really cool. I, I really like this artwork. Um, Slowpoke. <laughs> Growl doing your bonus next turn, the training Pokemon's attack to 20 less damage. <sighs> That's the Slowpoke being Slowpoke. Oh, I got some of the Meltan, which is quite cool. Another Fairy Charm. Uh, got another Tarogue. Bratty Kick. Once during your turn, you have to flip a coin. If heads for 3 damage counts to one of your opponent's Pokemon, if you use this ability, your turn ends. It could be pretty cool. If you can get it off, it's decent, but hey. Stealthy Hood. Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Remove any such existing effects. Oh, that's quite cool. Interesting. Could be quite cool. Very situational, but very cool. Hey, got a shiny Stunfisk. This is actually a pretty useful Stunfisk for putting damage on your bench. And... Licky Licky. Eat up. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon 2 cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. If you discard a Pokemon 2 card in this way, heal all damage from this Pokemon. So basically, just eat your opponent's um, card. And Tungnado. <laughs> Flip 4 coins, this attack does 60 damage for each head. Uh, Ghost against Mr. Mime, it is super useful. Uh, which one? Licky Licky. Oh, uh, Stealthy Hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Uh, ah, welcome, Shoulder. Are you going to open all the Unbroken Bond packs, or are you going to use them for trading? Um, I might open like 40 of them, and keep like 10 of them for trading. Um, but I'm definitely going to open the vast majority of them. Um, prob I'm, I might end up saving like 5 to 10. I might end up saving 10 of them. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Because I do want to keep some for trading, just to help like get those cards I'm looking for. 
Yeah, thanks guys. That yeah, it is quite interesting. That card can be quite useful against Mr. Mine. Um, as it like, it's very situational, but very good when it goes off. All right, let's see what we can get. Um, that is a very puffy crawfish. <laughs> um, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and shocking sting. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, it takes 15 more damage. Interesting. Um, Eagle, what are you trying to pull? I'm definitely trying to pull myself a Dedene from those unbroken bonds. Um, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what else I'm looking for. Like, there's quite a few cards I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go through the list in a second uh, after this pack. And I hope you pack a Dedene GX from the Unbroken Bonds. Yeah, I told him me too. I'm really hoping for Dedene. Um, plunge. Once doing your turn before you attack, uh, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may remove all energy from your active Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do switch with your active Pokemon, that's actually a really cool ability. I like that a lot. Toracat. Uh, that's interesting artwork. I like. It's a lot like more feline artwork than a lot of the Toracats, so I actually quite like that. Plus, so, as I said, I'm just not a fan of this Pokemon. Warp Energy. Um, this card provides en colorless energy. When you attack this card from your hand to your active Pokemon, switch that Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's a free switch. Electrode, Floatzel, Pikachu. Very sweet Pikachu artwork. And, ooh, a Keldeo. Bailout. Put a water energy from your discard pile into your hand. Oh, I wish it was one of your Pokemon. And Resolute Blade. This is like the 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Interesting. Um, Eagle, then I suggest you say 15 so you can get one by trading. Okay. I'll see if I can keep 15 then. Um, as for what I'm looking for, you packed the Dene from my daily... What? Tilda, that's incredible. You packed the Dene from your daily login pack. What? That is super, super lucky, my friend. My word. I wish, like, I wish I had your luck, my friend. Okay, um, so as for what I'm looking for, I'm definitely looking for Dedene. There's no two ways about that, and I love that world of that matter. Um, as for what I'm looking for, like, obviously, like, big pulls. Um, I would like to pull this Blastoise. I don't know if I could use it, but I would certainly like to pull it. Crobat, I'm a big fan of. I did manage to pull one of these guard pulls. I'd like to make a fairy deck just before it really rotates out completely. So, like, I'd be quite keen for a few more of these. Dedene is 100% I want to pull. Um, I would like to keep myself a Greninja's and Zorak GX, but I haven't actually opened any of these yet. Um, so I would definitely like to own some of these. Um, I would love this beautiful Lucario and Metal because I want to be making a Lucario and Metal deck very soon. So if I can pull one of these um, with a Rainbow Art, I'd be super, super happy. Um, I did manage to open one of these more Shadows, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, sorry, not this, sorry, not this more Shadow. Uh, I'll open another one, sorry. Um, this my Shadow and Marchamp, it'd be interesting, I would like it, but it's not something I'm super looking for. Um, I am looking for, I'm looking for a few Muck and a lot of Muck GXs. I want to be building some more Poison type decks, so I would really like to pull some of these. Um, so I'm definitely looking for Muck and a lot of Muck GX. I'd love to have a uh, rainbow restaurant. Basically, any of the rainbows I'd like to pull, just because, you know, rainbows. Um, I would like to pull some of these spirit tombs. Um, I think it'll be interesting building a building spite deck, because I've gone up against it a few times, so I'd like to build one for my own. Um, and I did open the that load... Um, oh, man, what's it called now? Um, supply with the load, uh, the load type attack. I did open one of those recently, so I would like to build a building spike deck as well. So that would be quite cool. Um, I th yeah, I'm not too interested in this to be honest with you. Um, Togekiss, again, it would be cool to make a fairy type deck before it really rotates out completely, but I doubt I'll get around to it. Um, Venomoth GX, like, I would like to, but it's a very difficult deck to build, so I don't know about that. Um, Vikavolt, I would like to, um, I would like to build one of these. It's a bit of a iffy lightning type deck to build, but I would like to build into it at some stage. Um, Vile Plume, I would definitely like to pull, because again, as I said, I want to be building some poison and special condition type decks. Um, so I definitely want to, would like to pull some of these. 
And the Whimsicott is one of those, like, it'll be cool to own, but I'm not super phased about it. Eagle Boarding Spirit Tomb uh, is one of the top decks right now. Yeah, I've faced it a few times, actually, and it's a terrifying deck to go up against. So, I would be super keen to be able to build one of these. Uh, I'd have to open, like, an absolute machine to be able to build it, but let's see what happens. The new one, uh, Via Vault from RCL, is much better. Uh, the Vike Vault? Yeah, no, it is. Um, it's certainly a lot better. Um... I guess it's one of those like I'd like to open it, but eh. Um, but yeah, no, the spirit tombs. I'll be super excited. I'm gonna open up a bunch of spirit tombs. Um, sorry, I'm in my collection already. Um, but I have to see what happens. I don't know if I'll be able to actually pull it, but we'll see how it goes. I've got a lot of packs to get through, so let's see if we can get get some. So uh, let's uh, actually open one up and let's see what we get. Um, as I said, really, I'm I'm really digging for the Denes and the spirit tombs. Um, let's see if we can pull those. Alright. Uh, Porygon and Coughing, not bad, but eh, it's not really the great Coughing. Sandile? I've never been a fan of the clay, like the clay Pokemon arts. I can't tell you why. It's just never. They've never, appe never appealed to me. Like, they're super cute and they're awesome collection pieces, like the physical clay models. But for Pokemon card, I'd rather see the actual physical, like, drawn artwork. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon attack to 20 less damage. That's pretty cool. Um, escaping sizes, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, switch this Pokemon one of your bench Pokemon. Eh, that can be a bit, that can be a problem, actually, when that kind of goes off. Gloom's Irresistible Aroma. Once during your turn, if your opponent's bench isn't full, you may flip a coin. If edge your opponent reveals their hand, put a basic Pokemon you find there onto their bench. Again, like, super situational, but you can really mess with your opponent. If you have a way to bench snipe, this can actually be a really fun card. Looking at Trent, I gave you something. What did you send me, Ghost? Oh, hey, we opened up a Mew with Bench Barrier. Eh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's always a decent card that I can always use. What did you send me, Ghost? Oh, no way! Awesome! Thanks for the, the, the boss toys! That's really cool, thanks so much, I really appreciate that. And the... Oh, and the Viking Vault! Dude, thanks so much, Ghost, I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, that's really, really awesome. Well, that's really cool. I got the boss toys now, which is one of the things I was looking for. Thanks, man, that's really, really cool. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's cool, thanks. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's take a look and let's open up our Shining Legends and let's see what we can get. That was really cool. So Blastoise is now done and the Viking Vault. So we're getting there. We're getting the list down. That's such a cute Pikachu. I really, really like it. Jolly Quest, awesome cards. Yeah, it's a really... Ooh, hello. It's a really awesome card so far. Um, Ekans, Proloin, Lovesta. I hated evolving this Pokemon. I really hated evolving this Pokemon in the game. Ah, such a mission. Goes from the Great Ball, another Pokemon Catcher, and a very beautiful, beautiful Volcarona. Heat Cyclone. Uh, always doing your turn before you attack, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Awesome ability as well. Like, you can really get some nice plays from that Heat Cyclone. Ghost, a 927. I already have five of them, so I don't need them. I still appreciate them. Thanks so much. And... Oh, hello, Raichu GX. Powerful Spark. This attack does 20 more damage uh, times the amount of energies attached to your Pokemon. Thunder, this Pokemon does their damage to itself. And Voltail GX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Awesome card art. I must say, I quite like the card art that writes you. Very commanding. It's a very commanding uh, card art. Nicely designed. Alright, well that's quite a nice pull. Okay, let's see if we can pull from the Sun and Moons. So far these have been pretty decent pulls. I'm, I'm happy with how today is going. Today is looking like a really, really good day. Oh, rare candy. <laughs> I could always use more rare candies. Uh, for Mantis, Synthesis, search your deck for energy attached to one of your Pokemon. That's actually quite... Uh, it's, it's decent energy acceleration. It's actually not terrible. Um, got those nice shiny alone eradicate now, which is quite nice. And, well, hello. A Rainbow Lorantis GX. Flower Supply. Attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. 
And Solar Blade, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Chlorocyte GX. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energies attached to this Pokemon. Well, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that pull. I'm very happy with that pull. Anytime I can pull a rainbow, I'm very, very happy. And anytime it's a rainbow grass type Pokemon, I'm that much happier. So that is very, very nice. Well, I'm happy with that. All right, that was a very nice pull. Um, let's head over to our Burning Shadows. Let's see what we can get. So, Burning Shadows, what do you have for me in this pack? Uh, da, 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 da. Nothing too fantastic so far. Got a nice horsey uh, with the water arrow. And, oh, hello, Machamp. These have been some two pretty good packs, one after each other. Machamp GX. Crosscut. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, that's stacked to 60 more damage. Bedrock Breaker, discard any stadium cards in play, 430 damage. That's actually really, really good. And Muscle Punch GX. This damage, uh, this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. Yeah, uh, I'm okay with that. Two nice packs right after each other. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy. All right, well this is looking, this is turning out to be a very, very nice day. Let's see if we get some unbroken bonds. Can we keep the streak of some really, really awesome cards? All right, let's see if we get lucky. Okay. Uh, decent pack so far. Oh, there's the general that really needs the tentacle. Uh, look at the top four cards of deck and put two of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. That's not bad, actually. It's essentially like a draw two, but you're fixing your draw, which is always good. Samson Oak. Draw two cards, but active Pokemon the same type. Draw two cards. Eh, I don't like this card. All right. Can we continue our luck streak? And not so much. <laughs> Extra tight press. You have two Loxation v uh, Vs? Yes, I'm pretty sh sure both of mine are locked. I'll double check it quickly. I'm fairly sure that oh, I've got two of them. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going. I've, I'm pretty sure I have two Zation Vs that are locked. Um, yeah, both of them are locked. Um, I'm so happy I got this one. <laughs> I'm really happy I pulled this one. Fortunately, I can't trade it, but I'm very, very happy with it still. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go back to Shining Legends. This is the last Shining Shining Legends. What can come out of this? Let's see. Can I get super, super lucky? Come on, last pack luck. Let's see what we get. Last pack luck. Looking good so far. A whole bunch of new cards. Looking decent so far. Hibernation Spore? Your opponent's X Pokemon was down asleep. Opponent flips two co Oh, that Hibernation Spore is awesome. Your opponent flips two coins instead of one between turns. Either is tell the Pokemon is still asleep. That's quite a nice one. Uh, double colorless energy I always need, so I'm very happy with that. Alright, another cute Pikachu. Let's see what we get. And. Um, Keldeo. Not the best last pack luck, but hey. Um, Childa, you should try and build a Lucario Momentalization deck with that. It's the top tier deck right now in the meta. I may be sitting on something that looks very familiar to that. You'll have to see the next coming week or so. But yeah, it's um, I've, I've got that in the works. I'm busy putting it together at the moment. And I'm hoping to show it off this next week. So yeah, good prediction, my friend. It's definitely in the works. Um, <laughs> good call. All right, let's see what we get from Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, I'm busy, busy putting together a um, Zession V and Lucario Metal Metal's uh, Metal type deck. I'm just kind of refining it. Like, I'm just getting the again, last cards together. But it's definitely on its way. All right. Uh, oh, Poison Bomb. I like this card. Okay. Can we get something cool? We got two of them. Hey, we got a nice looking Dragonite. Uh, Dragon Wave, discard an end, a leaf and, a, and sorry, a grass and lightning energy from this Pokemon, and then giant tail for the coin. If tails attack does nothing. Not a great Dragonite. Not my favorite Dragonite. But it's a nice looking Dragonite. So we got that going for it. And. Ah, oh, Polyrath. Split Spiral Punch. Alright. Let's see what we can get. Uh, let's open up a. Actually, I, I want to have like two, two. So I want to open up one more of these. And I want to go to an um, Unbroken Bonds. Just to have it like all the same. Like that unity gets to me. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Not a bad pack so far. That Tita Punch, like this spinner is surprisingly good in, I want to say like a pauper format, thinking back to Magic Gathering. Um, but in like, it's just like a locked format. It's actually surprisingly good for like one energy, just confusing your opponent. And you're dealing 30 damage with a basic colorless type Pokemon, normal type Pokemon. So it's a surprisingly good basic Pokemon, like all things considered. Because you're dealing 30 damage with one energy and you're confusing your opponent, which can do 30 more damage. So like it's a surprisingly good card. And another Palosan. I'm getting a lot of Palosans recently. I wish this Absorb Vitality did more damage, and this Palisand could be really, really cool. But, yeah, it is what it is. Alright. Let's see if we can get Unbroken Bonds, can you come through? Let's see what we can pull. Alright. Hey, Rock Climbing Dew Dude, I like you already, my friend. Got Venonat. Another Energy Spinner, I'm happy with that. I don't think I actually have four, I think this is my fourth Energy Spinner, which is quite good. Surprise Box. Put a card from her discard pile into the hand, and no, uh, thank you. I don't know how to, I don't know how to make this card work. How does surprise? How can surprise box be useful? Put a card from your opponent discard pile into their hand. Like, how can this actually be useful? Chat, does anyone know? Like, what can you actually use surprise box for? Because I've always been curious about this card. Like, is it actually a good card or is it just trash? Got some a, a nice looking stealthy hood. And oh hello Sharpedo. Greedy Evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to you evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn. You may look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a number of dark energy you find there to this Pokemon, then shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Bad fans, this attack does 20 more damage times the amount of dark energy. This is actually a pretty awesome Pokemon. Wow, this this is actually a pretty awesome card. Like that's a good Sharpedo. Oh, Johnny Quest, Gengon, a Mimikyu GX. Oh, uh, okay, fair point. That's actually a really good Sharpie though, I like that. Surprise Box works with Gengon, Mimikyu GX, that does 50 damage for each um, item card you find in your opponent's deck. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense then. I, I, I can never put that connection together, so yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Thanks so much, Johnny Quest, and uh, Childa's. Childa? Chilla? Sorry, my friend. I'm actually not entirely sure how to pronounce your name. Uh, Chilla01? Is it Chilla? Am I saying that correctly? Alright, let's take a look at these. Yeah, that makes sense. Surprise box for getting Garm MQ. I don't know why I didn't see that. Thanks for the tips. I really appreciate it. Alright. Uh, Korea, put one of your bench Pokemon or card attached to it into your hand. That can actually be relatively useful. Um, it's a Dutch name, so no worries. I'm not saying it right though, like Chilla. That I'm yeah, I'm more worried if I'm pronouncing pronouncing it correctly. Because yeah, I know I've never seen it before. All right, and Tila, Tila, is it like Tila or like Chilla? No, oh uh, yeah, I figured I was butchering it. I'm sorry, my friend. And Incineroar, Firefang, and Dark. Oh, that's the Dark Slayer one. Again, like I don't like coin flips because I'm super unlucky with them. So like it, it gets to me, like yeah. So I'm, like yeah, I'm I'm so unlucky when it comes to coin flips. It just drives me mad. Um, I should jump on Chrome quickly see how to pronounce that name because like name pronunciations get to me. Yeah, I got it. Oh, so it's Tida. Uh, it's like Tida. Uh, Uh, pronunciation. So, like, names really get to me. Mm. Wow, okay. Google has nothing. Thank you, Google. That was terribly useless. So, it is Tierra. Okay, cool. Sorry, I literally cannot find it at all on Google, how to pronounce the name. I'm really, really sorry. All right, the card will extremely helps with coin flips. <sighs> I know, but it's like adding insult to injury, the fact that I've got an add a card to my deck just to help me with coin flips. <laughs> like, I just don't like it. Same as like, Tama Ball. 
I have a love-hate relationship with Timer Ball because it's an awesome card and I love using it. But I hate using it. Maybe with Google Translate, so T says the word for you. I'll check it. I couldn't find it. Oh, Google Translate. Yeah, sorry. I'll check Google Translate quickly. So uh, Viper, more poison, put one more damage count to your poison Pokemon between turns. Hey, that's always good for poison type deck. And, oh, we got a beautiful Kingdra. So like, this Kingdra is difficult to use. So this Kingdra comes from one of the um, theme type decks. I can't remember which one right now off the top of my head. I like this Kingdra quite a lot, but it's very difficult to get off because you require damage on your opponent's bench. And like, Tornado Shot with a properly constructed water type deck is actually really good because you're dealing 90 damage to the active Pokemon and 90 damage to the bench. So in like an expanded format um, where you can build a good water type deck, this Kingdra can actually be super, super useful. But it's a bit difficult to get it off. Um, yeah, let me jump into Google Translate quickly. So, so like, that's the thing. I like that um, that, King, that Kingdra quite a lot, but it's very difficult to get off. Um, Cheated. Okay, well, I want to pronounce it, my friend. Why is it pronouncing for me? That's weird. There we go. Cheated. That's weird, it's just not pronouncing for me for some reason. Tierra? Tierra is better? Tierra. Tierra. It's coming out as Tierra. Tierra. Tierra? Is that correct, Tierra? Alright. Yes. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks. I'm glad I got that right. Tierra. Alright, now I know. Thanks, Fast. Alright. Okay, so let's check what the next one is. So, Unbroken Bonds. Tierra? Now I know how to say your name. That was awesome. Thank you. Alright. Swelling Spites. Um, when this Pokemon is knocked out, search so take for up to two horns and put the one to your bench. That's actually so trolly. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's so trolly. Uh, another triple acceleration energy, which is quite nice. And... Ooh, a Katana. This is not the Katana I was looking for, but uh, either way, it's pretty decent. It's just a fool to get off. I'm looking for the me that metal type one. is crazy that I came up against. I'm pretty sure it was one of my, in my, one of my videos. The metal type katana, which caused me headaches. All right, last pack of luck. What can we get from Sun and Moon? Come on, let's get something good. Ooh, Rainbow Energy. That's quite nice. Not because like Raw Energy, but Rainbow Energy is quite nice. It can be very, very useful, especially in that deck I'm talking about making. Um. And I have a Toro Cat. This is not a nice Toro Cat. I quite like that artwork. Okay, last pack of luck. What do we get? Another Sharpedo. With rough skin. With, uh, Pokemon. If this Pokemon is active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, you've knocked out. It takes the put three damage counters on us. And Aqua Impact. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Eh. It looks cooler than it is. Rough skin is always a nice ability, but hey. Well, honestly, just opening that rainbow energy, I'm happy. So, like, that was actually really, really cool. So, thank you, Jamie Viggy, for these awesome packs. Alright. My last Burning Shadows. What can we open? Last pack luck. What can we get? I'm hoping for something good. Alright, nothing too fantastic so far. Okay, last pack luck. Let's do this. Eh. Not what I was hoping for. Well, that was the last pack. Thank you so much, Jamie Vee, for all of those. So, time to open up a whole bunch of unbroken bonds. Let's get going. So, Johnny Quest, these are all yours now, my friend. Send some love this way. Let's see what we can get. Eh, <laughs> not a very surprising booster so far. But we've got two hidden cards. So... We got the shiny um, Sakataka, which is not terrible. I mean, that's a pretty cool pool. I don't own one yet, so that's pretty cool. And 
Ah, Lucario. Not fantastic, but hey. At least now I have one. Alright, let's see if we guess. Uh, Cubone, Rialu, Porygon, Coughing, Slandered, Graveler, Porygon 2, Marsh Last Dojo. I am happy with that, because I think I've only got two. So now the third one is awesome. And... I love Kingler. Like, I super love Kingler. But in the mainstream games. I, I'm t I haven't found like a Pokemon card that I super, super like just yet. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how that goes. Um, ah, audio best boy, audio best boy. Thanks so much for the follow, my friend. That's really really cool. I don't know why. Like for some reason, my my OBS Streamlabs, I've got like the event box as my overlay, but I don't get events there. It's so irritating. Cause like I I get the sound notification. Um. Chat, do you see, like, the event come on the screen? Or not? I don't know if this thing's working or not, because it's really irritating. Because as a... Yes, you get it? Okay, cool. So, Ghost and uh, Chilla, thanks so much for letting me know you get it. I'm really glad you get it, because for some reason, I don't see it. Which is really, really irritating. So, for, I've got the overlay that's supposed to show me the events. Uh, Johnny Quest, you also saw it? Okay, cool. So, I'm glad all of you are seeing it. For some reason, my show recent events overlay, it doesn't show recent events. Oh, that's really irritating. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're all seeing it. I don't know why I'm not seeing it, which is really, really frustrating me. I'll see if I can fix it later. Okay. So my chat, my overlay chat is working perfectly. And I'm super happy about that. But for some reason, my overlay events just refuses to work. All right. Diglett, underground work. If you discard this Pokemon with the effects of Giovanni's Exile, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Oh, you all know how much I love discarding type decks. Um, nice shiny coughing. Another surprise box. And... Butterfree. Not the Butterfree I'm looking for. Triple charge. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attack them to your Pokemon anyway. I'm actually looking at making that Panic Poison Butterfree deck as well. Down the line. Um, because there's that... So, I don't know if we should discuss this really on Twitch, but anyway. Um, there's the event coming, uh, the Super Band event. Uh, that's po part of the, the, um, the, the, not Pokemon League. Who, who sets it up? Is it Pokemon League? Anyway, there's part of that Super Band event that's happening recently. And um, you had to put in, you had to basically submit cards, and it's an expanded event. And cards will be banned every, um before every round, and you've got to build an expanded deck from which the cards are left. Uh, who does it? Yeah, just the Pokemon Go League. Yeah, so the Pokemon Go League is doing the Super Band event, and I'm part of it. And the first set came out, uh, the first band list came out, and the card I submitted actually, um, uh, actually went through and that was Switch. So Switch is banned. So I'm thinking of doing a, um, a like a Butterfree, Panic Poison type deck because it's going to be more difficult to switch out. Ghost, this card is huge. You can abuse it with Caterpie to get through energies every turn. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attack... Oh! Oh, damn, yes! I didn't even click with that. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Oh, damn, yes, because you can scoop up Nethys back to your hand. Oh damn, I didn't even click with that. Damn, yeah, that's 100% correct. If you have a bird tag team deck with it. Ooh, that could actually be super awesome. And it's not just grass energies, it's just basic energies. So it works in any type of deck. Thanks that ghost, I didn't even click with this. Thanks that, that shout out, yeah. That is really, really awesome actually. Ooh. Good point. Hey, I got to turn it to Surge Energy. You can play this card only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. During this turn, you can play three support cards, including this card. Like, when this goes off, it's really, really cool. Yeah, with Adaptive Evolution, that card is huge. Thanks, thanks, chat. I didn't even click with that. My word. That is crazy. That is crazy cool. 
Ooh, I'm gonna sit down and look and see what I can do with that. All right, let's see if this pack can get for us. We've got two of these cards. Ah, very nice sand slash. Well, very pretty sand slash. Not a very good card. And I can write you. Never give up. You can use the tech only if you have at least three. If you have at least three more prize cards remaining than your opponents, attach all energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Wow, super situational, but it could be pretty good. Um, audio best boy. If someone makes a Dragonpult, Dragonpult Galad heal deck with the Sword Shield Gengar, I would love to know. Dragonpult VMAX. So if someone makes the Dragonpult VMAX Galad heal deck with the Sword and Shield Gengar, I would love to know it. It's too expensive. Which one is the Sword and Shield Gengar? Um, sorry, wrong place. Which is the Sword and Shield Gengar? Um, I don't think I own it yet, but let me just check. Gengar from Sword and Shield. Oh, it's the Life Shaker one. As often as you like doing a turn, you're gonna move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to one of the one Pokemon. Yeah, I've gone up against this. Uh, not, yeah, not Dragon Ball VMAX. Sorry, no Dragon Ball VMAX, not Dragon Ball Glad. Yeah, I've gone up against one of these Life Shaker decks. It is not fun. It can be so frustrating to play against. Yeah, the, the Dragon Pulse are crazy, crazy cool. Alright, uh... Anyway, alright, let's jump back. What are you sending me, Ghost? Oh! Hello! Thank you, Ghost! Slice off, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard a uh, special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and take a prize card. <laughs> well, if, if you haven't got a simpler GX than that, just take a prize card. I like it. And then Gale Blade, you, uh, you may shuffle this Pokemon or cards attached to your, into your deck. Well, hello. Hey, thank you. The Adaptive ev Evolutions. I was doing these, especially Caterpie. Thanks so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Ghost. That was really cool of you again. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, that GX attack. You take a prize card. <laughs> I quite like it. It's, it's very... It's very simple. <laughs> and it's... Um, <laughs> very simple in its construction. You take a prize card. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ghost. I really like it. I might just put that in my deck just because. Just to take a prize card. <laughs> um... Tilly, you played Dark Box and Dragon Ball Zero, so you could match up for me. Ah, oh, you're lucky, nice. Yeah, it's always nice when you've got actually got a deck that really counts as one of the top meta type decks. Um, Golbat, the emer the Emerge Metapod. We've got another two hidden cards. Like these these packs have been really good for me. Oh, Victory Ball. That is such a cool card. I like this Pokemon so much. Reactive Poison. This attack does 60 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. And the Gastro Acid, the defending Pokemon, has no abilities until the end of the next turn. Yeah, the Reactive Poison, you can have some really, really fun with it. Uh, oh, but you can have really, really fun. My word, my English. You can have a lot of fun with that Reactive Poison. And our final card is... Ah, uh, Sea King. The Enhanced Horn. Flip two coins. It takes 30 damage for each head. If this Pokemon is a Pokemon tool attached to it, flip six coins instead. I think I need to run the Sea the C C King. Just to see if I can be that person who gets six tails. It's very possible. Um, Ghost, Guzzlord, Nuggetadel tag team gives you two. Oh, it does, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's keep going. I actually forgot about that. That's very true. Alright, let's see what we can get. Another two. Alright, let's see what we can get. Ah, Meowstic, cast day. Draw three cards. If you do this, this book was now asleep and perplexing, perplexing eyes. The defending Pokemon's weakness is now psychic until the end of your next turn. The amount of weakness doesn't change. Okay. And... <laughs> okay. Um, that's a beautiful fire crystal. Uh, I wasn't expecting that pull, but I'm very happy with that pull. Um, a beautiful gold fire crystal. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite a nice pull. Um, very happy to put that into all my fire type decks that run fire crystal. 
<laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Johnny Quest, uh, your pack's paid off. <laughs> your pack's just just paid off. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, like, I know those golds are worth a ridiculous amount. Like, public office, I just want to see. I am getting... Uh, I want to go for fire crystal. Like, I know those, like, those gold type cards tend to go for a ridiculous amount. Sorry, I think I said, so I said, I'm, I'm not getting, I'm getting, I'm giving. My opponent just made the biggest mistake. He played Power Plant, and after that, he played Dead Energy X down. Ooh. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Let's see. Ah, oh, nine packs. That's not bad, actually. I was expecting a little bit more than nine packs for it, but I guess that's not terrible. Seven and two. Nine, yeah, about nine packs. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Yeah, totally. You were lucky with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the worst when you like you make that terrible play and like it hits you after you play it, and you're just like, oh, uh, you want to just click uninstall. Well, lucky for you, my friend. All right. Ah, happy new play house heal. Another welder as if I need more holders. Uh, five crystals worth ten. Yeah, I I saw for nine. I think I'd put it down for ten. That's not bad. I mean, I could actually use like the thing is for me in a position where I'm growing my collection. Those ten packs can be a lot more valuable than a good looking card. Um, but I don't know. I, don't, I definitely don't want to trade away just yet. Since the fog, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Put one damage counter into your opponent's bench Pokemon. I like that Haunter. All right. Well, I was talking about opening up the Venomoth GX as a possibility, and hey. It just happened. Uh, Venomoth GX, Shinobi Mastery. If you play a uh, Koga's Trap from your hand during this turn, the stack does 90 more damage. If you play Janine from your hand during this turn, prevent all damage done to the Pokemon by attacks on basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This can actually be a pretty decent Pokemon. Um, you kind of need to get... I feel like you kind of got to build a deck around it, but I guess most GX is you got to build a deck around it. And the 10, a 10 card return GX, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw 10 cards. Hey, if you ever want a card advantage, it's just the way to do it. I'm happy with this pool. Like, I'm glad I've gotten this Venom Venomoth GX. Because um, I, I like Koga's Trap quite a lot. So I'd like to try and build a deck around it. I don't know if I can. Um, but hey. Like, it just blows my mind. I've been building... I've been opening packs for the last 50 minutes. This is crazy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be one of those streamers, but it's finally happening. Alright. I got the most fabulous card ever, apparently. And that is the Lowland Dug Trio with the glorious and fabulous hair. Hair wall. <laughs> your metal type Pokemon take 10 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Just for the fabulousness that is their hair. <laughs> I, like, I, I like how even the card art doesn't take this Pokemon seriously. <laughs> Alright, let's just open up the next pack. Alright. <laughs> let's see what we get. I'll suggest, um, I'll suggest you before you sell a card, you should go to uh, PokemonPrice.com to check how many... Oh, I was wondering what, what a good site was for checking out packs. So it's uh, PTCGeoPrices.com. Alright, thanks that. I really appreciate that. I was, I was looking the other day to try and find a nice site to look for prices. So I appreciate that, uh, Chilla. Thanks so much for that. Okay, I'll definitely check out there before I actually trade up. Alright, what do we get? Hey, another Licky Licky. And another Lucario. Pretty decent pack so far, not so bad. We're still digging for the Dedene. <sighs> what is gonna happen? Another Haunter. I, like I just like this Haunter. Like, Sinister Fog is a really cool ability. All right. We've got ourselves another Kingler. We're getting super lucky. We've gotten like two, like two special cards in every booster pack. And Marowak. All right. Bone Rush, flip a coin until you get Tails, attack this 50 damage for each heads, and Assault Boom. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon tool, there's 70 more. You can get super lucky with Bone Rush, but again, it's a case of getting like super lucky. How many of these have I opened now? My word, I've opened, what, 26 of these already? Not 26, 16, sorry. 
I can math, I promise. It's just a Saturday morning. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's see what we can get. We're still digging with that today. Um, got a if anyone's looking for welders, I've got an abundance of welders. So let me know if you're looking for them. And ooh, crocodile! Chomp, chomp, panic! The sect is fifty damage for each retreat. Uh, cost new opponents active Pokemon. Well, I read that terribly. This attack does 50 damage for each NG in your opponent's active Pokemon to treat cost. Sorry, like my eyes went ahead and I just read that sentence horribly. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's see what we can get. Uh, hey, another Martial Art Dojo, and I have the full set of four. That's exciting. Uh, Venonat and... Uh, very relaxed Quagsire. I'm glad you can relax. Let's keep going, let's see what we can get. And another super cute Pikachu. Another surprise box, I guess I can get that um, Gengar Mimikyu up doing quite well. And, oh hello Gengar. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put six damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX in any way you like. And then Twilight Poison, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. That's quite a nice Gengar, <laughs> I must say. Was it Ricka TVG who was saying your favorite Pokemon was Gengar? I think it was Ricka TVG last week's Saturday. All right, and we've got ourselves a Meowstic. Not terrible, not fantastic, but not bad. Nice Gengar though, I must say, that Gengar is really cool. All right, let's see if we can get. Uh, Porygon, uh, Dremoko, Canopy, Cottony, Ekans, uh, Pharaoh, Weeping Bell, Radicate, and oh, hello, Greninja, the Dark Greninja, with Bring Down, the Pokemon uh, that has the the least HP remaining, except for this Pokemon, is knocked out. If multiple Pokemon are tied. Choose one, and then Miss Slash. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects of your opponent's Pokemon. That Bring Down is crazy. If you've just got fat Pokemon sitting on your bench, just like beefy Pokemon with a whole bunch of HP, this Bring Down can be amazing. All right, quite a nice pull actually. And, hey, that beautiful Arcanine with Grand Flame. Such an awesome attack. 120 damage and attach two energy cards from your discard power to one of your bench Pokemon. So good. Such a great supporter type Pokemon, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's see if we can get. So, Sandow, Meowth, Grubbin, Geodude, Lytton, uh, Togetic. De-Evolution Spray Z. De-Evolve one of your evolved Pokemon by shuffling any number of evolution cards on it into your deck. Interesting. Oh, I've got a Dusk Stone. Search your deck for Miss Vegas, Honchcrow, Chandelier, or Aegislash, including GX Pokemon that evolves one of your Pokemon to play and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve, but then shuffle your deck. Very cool. You can use this card during your first turn on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. Quite a nice pick, actually. War Turtle with a solid shell, it's a nice War Turtle. And, oh, nice, I got a uh, Blacephalon. Blazer, turn one of your face down prize cards face up. If it's an energy card, this attack is 50 more damage. And the Fireball Circus, discard any number of fire energy cards in your hand, this attack is 50 damage for each card you discard in this way. Nice, quite cool to finally pull one of these. Yeah, that was worth some. It was definitely worth some. Quite a nice pull, actually. All right, um, yeah, this is a pretty decent pack. The fact that I opened up a Dusk Stone and a Blacephalon is quite nice. Uh, try to build a deck around the Blacephalon. If I can get some more, I need like four of them, um, but I definitely can. I've definitely been on the receiving end of it a few times as a pain, so I definitely agree with you, uh, Ordinary Best Boy. It can be an absolute pain playing against that card. All right, oh, yeah. <laughs> another shiny Victory Bell, which is quite cool. And... Eh, this Aurora, not not terrible, not terrible. Um, yeah, if you can build a deck around the Blacephalon, it can be terrifying to go up against. All right, um, <laughs> super cute like flower child Jigglypuff. Ball roll, flip coin until you get tails. Attack like does twenty more damage for each chase. Nice. Most decks use the oh, is it three not four? Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm two away now. 
Wheezing! Detention gas. As long as this Pokemon is reactive Pokemon, put one damage count on each of your opponent's basic Pokemon between turns. If it was just one on everything, it would be crazy. Splattering Sludge. This deck does 20 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has 8 damage counters on it. Oh. I, I need to run a, like a bench spread deck. Like with those uh, Haunters and those Gengars. Oh man. Yeah, I, I need to get around to actually boarding one of those. So it's been on my mind for a while now. I've got The thing is, I've got so many decks I want to build that I need to actually get around to building them. Like, my, ne my next build is my Martial Arts Dojo deck um, with Stonehenge, uh, Stone Chorna, but I need to get around to actually doing it. Red or, red or Eyes. Look at the top seven cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand, shuffle other cards in your deck. That's a really nice card, better than that, actually. Yeah, I need to actually sit down and build some decks. I might actually do that. I need, I, need, I need to actually sit down on stream and build some decks because, like, I always say I'm going to get around to it, but I'll never get around to it. Finishing combo. You can use the attack only if you hit Mon Lee, you use special combo during your last turn. The stack does 6 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Wow, that's really nice, that finishing combo, actually. That's really cool. If you want to make a bench spread deck, you should look into the Coughing Roxy deck. Yeah, I know. It is a really, really good deck. Uh, wow, okay. Um, okay. Koga's Trap. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. And it's a beautiful Koga's Trap. Uh, I love that those full art cards. Galarian Weezing from RCL is also super good. Yeah, I, I've, I think that's definitely 100% I agree with that. Sorry, I'm kind of like just boom on this Koga's Trap. Um, yeah, Poke for the Venomoth. Yeah, that, that's talking about it, hey? Open up the Venomoth that needs that needs Koga's Trap, and I get a beautiful Koga's Trap to go alongside it. That's really, really cool. I like that. Um, I like it. Alright. Let's keep on going. Um, these pools today have been awesome. This has been a really, really good day. Oh, Martial Arts Dojo. I've got a spare Martial Arts Dojo for anyone who's looking for one now. Um, let's see. Hey, another Meow Stick. Nice. But I should keep it. Yeah, that Koga's trap I'm gonna keep. Like it's just it's so beautiful. And I, like I said, like the, with that Venomoth, it could be pretty cool. Um, and the fact that I want to be building special condition type decks, I'm definitely gonna be holding on to that Koga's trap. Because uh, I I really want to get around to building special condition type decks. I, I find them quite interesting. Okay, we've got a double. What do we have? Yes. Sorry for clapping. I apologize. But we've got a Subtle Spirit too. All right. Um. Building Spite. Once you get a turn, you put one damage count to this Pokemon. So, we're getting there. Spirit 2 is coming along. Um, the thing is, like, it's one of those decks that like I need to get around a building, and I will get around building it, but it's going to be a way off because I know I'm missing a lot of cars. But the fact that I've finally got my first Spirit Tomb is awesome. Alright, so we're on track for the Spirit Tomb deck, which is good. Hey, our second God of War City on GX. Opened up two of these today, which is really, really cool. Nice. How many more of these packs do I have? I've got 24 to go. This is awesome. It's been a really, really good day. All right, let's see if we get. So, Porygon, Dom, uh, Dermaka, Caterpie, Cottony, Ekans, Swartal, Rhydon, Frogadier, Pharaoh. Which dirty work Rhydon is this? Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If you play Giovanni's Exile from your hand during this turn, discard the top five cards instead. Oh, you can actually have a lot of fun with this and the Diglett. You can have a lot of fun. Uh, try to include Sublime V. I think I do have a Sub... I'm pretty sure I have Sublime V. Oh, hey! My Shadow is resetting hole. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard any stadium card in play. If you do, discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. That's a good way to get, to get rid of stadium cards. And then Red Knuckles. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, attack does 60 more damage. I'm pretty sure I have one Sublime V. Um, yeah, I've got one sub larvae. I need to get a few more, um, but it's coming along. As I said, like it's it's getting there. It's going to take me a little while to build the deck, but thanks for the, the heads up, Ghost. Uh, like I said, it's one of those decks that I'm going to be sitting on for a while and talking at the cards together for it. Um, but it's like I need to actually write write down what decks I want to build. <laughs> There's two bunnies exile, <laughs> and eh, aromatis. Punch into Roma. Flip two coins. If either of them is heads, your opponent reveals their hand. For each head, choose a card you find there. Your opponent shuffles those cards into their deck. Or should just discard. Miraculous Cologne. 
Flip a coin. If heads, choose a special condition. Your opponent's axe Pokemon is not affected by a special condition. Uh, Sublime can do so much damage early on. It really can. Like, it's, like that Sublime V is terrifying. Um, I need to pick up a few more of them. But it is, like I said, I've been on the receiving end of the deck and it's not fun to play against it. Um, hey, Blastoise GX has got a friend. Um, Solid Shell Blastoise GX. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks and Giant Geyser. Any, uh, attach any number of energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. I don't know, like the Deluge, Deluge Blastoise is a bit better than the fact that it's just a Pokemon power. But the Solid Shell with Rocket Splash is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. That was a really cool pack. I'm happy I got that Blastoise GX. Now I've got two of them. That's exciting. Alright, let's open another one. This has been a really good day. Alright. Uh, I've got some of these surprise boxes now. <laughs> and another Hair War Dog Trio. I, just, I love that the artists don't even take this Pokemon seriously. Alright. Let's see what we get next. Um. The Fairy, Caterpie, Inke, Alone and Diglett, Zubat, Electronic Radar, another Lieutenant Surge's strategy, which is quite good. Another Haunter, which is quite nice. Since the Fog, your opponent's Axe Pokemon is now poison, put one damage count on each of your opponent's Page Pokemon. That's quite good. And. Goes another Wee Thing. As long as the Pokemon's Axe Pokemon put one damage count on each of your opponent's Page Pokemon between turns. That Spattering Sludge can be good. This attack does 20 damage for each of your opponent's Page Pokemon with any damage counts on it. It can be really good. Like, it can add up. I don't know if it's as good as the, like, Sword and Shield one, but it is quite good. Alright. Metal Core Barrier. Which one is this again? If this card attached to one of your po you would Pokemon discard it at the end of your opponent's turn. The Metal Type Pokemon's card attached to takes. Oh, yeah, this is like the one sort of block 70. Super situational, but again, pretty good. And a Pur Ugly. Stray Cat Dash. Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. If this Pokemon evolved from Glamour during this turn, it's got two cards instead of one. Ah, uh, it's one of those, it could be cool, but hey. With like, the Evolution Ray, ah. Uh, it's one of those, like, it could be cool, but it's difficult to actually make it good. Alright, let's see if we can get. Um, well, I've now got four of these Haunters, so... Sinister Fog might be happening. And... Hey, we've got Togekiss with Fairy Feast. Once during a turn, before you attack, you may heal 30 damage from your fairy type Pokemon. Well, that's quite nice. Let's see what we can get next. Alright. Uh, decent so far. Ooh, a nice shiny triple acceleration energy. And, oh yes, another Blacephalon. I pulled two today, that's really, really good. Alright, two Blacephalons in a day is quite nice. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking very good. Alright. Go away. Can't believe I opened two plus plus Ephelons today. That's really fantastic. Alright. Let's see what we can get. Um, another cute Pikachu. And... Hello. Reshiram and Charizard GX. Very nice pool. Very nice pool. Now i got three of these, which is cool. Um... This is good. Outrage, uh, Outrage takes a 10 more damage for your damage counter on this Pokemon, and then Flare Strike. Can't use Flare Strike twice in a row, though. I like it. Very nice. I've got to up another Rich and Charizard GX. That's always very good to see. Alright, let's see what we get. I was actually going to keep an eye on how many packs got left. And Chip, 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 Ice Axe. Look at top three cards of your opponent's deck and choose one of them. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into their deck. And put the card you chose on top of their deck. Yeah. Oh, yes. Makalo Mak GX. Uh, I opened this card. I'm very happy about this. Severe Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison. And put 8 damage counters instead of 1 on that Pokemon between turns. And Poison Absorption. If your opponent's active Pokemon is Poisoned, heal uh, 100 damage from this Pokemon, which is really, really cool. And then the Nasty Goo Mix GX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. If this Pokemon has at least 4 extra energy attached to it, put 15 damage counts instead of 1 on that Pokemon between turns. Yeah, I am very happy to open up the Muck and Lone Muck GX. That is really, really cool. Uh, as I said, I'm trying to be building a special condition type deck, and this card likes that deck a lot. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad I, I'm glad I actually was able to pull one of these. 
All right, that's fantastic. That is a fantastic pool. All right, today is a good day. Today is a very good day. All right, let's see what we get. Hello, Dust Island. When, it, when either player switches their poisoned active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon with the effect of a trainer card, the new active Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. So as long as they use like a switch or something like that, they still remain poisoned. So Dust Island can be very, very useful. And what do we get? Hey, a Mind Pop U2. That's pretty cool. Not fantastic, so I've got a, I've got a few of these. I thought I had more of these. Oh, I only had one of these from the deck. Um, from the Battle Mind deck. It's a pretty cool Mewtwo. It's actually won me a lot of theme type games. How many of these do I have? Oh man, I've got three left. Okay. So, chat, three more of these left. We're still looking for that DNA. Let's see if we can pull it out. So, let's get this luck going. Three more. Alright. So, we have Rattata, Goldeen, Alolan Diglett, Slowpoke, Litten. Another Koga's Trap, that's really, really good. I'm actually happy with that Koga's Trap already. And another Dust Island, which is really good. And third last pack, what do we get? Stolax, eh. Lazy Eating, between turns heal 10 damage. And then Big Count, if your opponent's X Pokemon is a tag team, the stack does 120 more damage. Eh. Awesome card art. Love the card art. Not the best card. Alright. Two packs left. Let's see if we can do this. We're still digging with that to Dene. If you have time, open all of them and I'll send 20. Oh, do you want a quest? Really? If you have time, open all of them and I'll send 20 that you can use for trade? Thanks, my friend. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I'll, I'd love that. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Sure, 20 quest. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. This is crazy. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Polyrath. Okay. Not so lucky. Yes, I definitely have time, Johnny Quest. I am more than happy to open up those packs then. All right, let's keep going. Johnny Quest says go, let's go. Thanks, Johnny Quest, I really appreciate it. All right, ooh, another green's exploration. Like, this is actually always a really good trend to open. I know I've got a whole bunch of them, but I'm always happy to see it. Okay. I'm really glad you said I should open up the rest. I would have been really disappointed to end on Sunfisk. All right. Johnny Quest says let's open another, let's keep going. So, let's open up all of them, Johnny. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we can open that to Dene. And no 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 yet. Still got a hypno, hypnotic pendulum. When your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin. If heads choose one of your opponent's active bench Pokemon and it becomes their, their active Pokemon. Eh. Eh. Alright. Come on, we can do this. Nine more to go. Nine more for the Dene. Sandshrew, Aaron, Whooper, Sandar, Meowth, Beast Bringer, Power Plant. Ooh, actually a power plant. Quite nice. Um Leron, Rhyhorn, and... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Welder. Attach two Fire Energies from your... Top two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. But that is a beautiful alternate art... Welder. That's a rainbow. That is a very nice pool. I was really hoping to open up this Welder. Because I'm actually looking forward to it. I think it's a beautiful top card. And I am very happy to finally open this card up. Alright, well this was a good pack. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's open another, let's keep going. So, Grubbin, Geodude, Litten, Froakie, Cropperola, Green's Exploration, Radicate, Janine, Tentacool, and... Marowak. Okay, not the best, but I've got another Janine which I might need. Let's keep going. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Geodude, Litten, Froki, Crabrawler, Oddish, Giovanni's Exile, Graveler, Porygon, 2, Porygon, and... Another Slazzle with Roast Reveal. I've got a few of them ready, so that's not the best card. Uh, I've got six more. I'll check out the trade offer in a second. Thanks so much for that. Got six more. So let's see what we can do. Six more, six more, six more. Okay. Rhyhorn, Growlithe, Cubone, Riolu, Porygon, Graveler, Porygon 2, Martial Arts Dojo. Um, for those in the chat or on my Discord, let me know if you're looking for Martial Arts Dojos. I've now got two spares. So if you're looking for trades, drop it down on Discord and let me know. We got... Ooh, Landorus. Very nice. Linear Attack. This this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness resistance for bench Pokemon. 
Remove NG from this Pokemon to want to be Bench Pokemon. Can we do it? Can't do it, but that is Paragon Z. Crazy code. And as, of, as often as you like doing your turn, you may attach a special energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Alright. Last five. Let's do this. So, pack five. What do we get? So, my hand needs to go here so you can actually see it. Okay. Paragon, Doromaka, Caterpie, Cottony, Ekans, another triple acceleration energy. Energy spin up, now I've got the full complement. Another triple energy acceleration. And, ooh, another Cortana, not bad. Not a bad pull, actually. All right, final four. Let's see if we can do this. Another Koga's Trap, that's awesome. And another Martial Arts Dojo. Hit me up in the Discord if anyone's looking for these. And, Quagsire, not great. All right, three more to go. Let's see if we can do this. I'm actually really hope, happy I opened up all those Koga's Traps, because I've actually been looking for them. Um, Ultra Forest uh, Carton Boy. During your turn, damage from your Ultra Beast attacks isn't affected by any, by any effects from your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, that's quite cool. Quite a nice Togepi. And... Sand Slash. Two more. Our last two. Can we do it? Can we do it? Murkrow, Pikachu, Togepi, Ghastly, Growlithe, Green's Exploration, Rhydon, uh, Krokorok, Gliscor, and... Marowak. Alright, chat. This is our last pack. Let's do this. Let's get this hype going. This is our last pack. Come on, Dedene. Flamel, Mistrevis, Gligar, Riolo, Esper, Graveler, Hitmontop, Chatot, Wartortle. Chat, can we do it? <laughs> I'm so nervous even though I clicked this last card. Ah, damn. <laughs> Another Landorus. Ah, no Dedene for today. It happens. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm sad I didn't get it, but I'm happy with the pools from today. Like, today's pools were absolutely awesome. Obviously, I'm sad I didn't open the Dene, but I am very, very happy with the pools from today. New private trade offer? Is that the... the Pax Johnny? Yeah, different, different F in the, F in the chat for that, unfortunately. Oh, Tierra? Oh, Tierra! Dioga GX? Overclock, draw cards, you have 6 cards in your hand, show this attack's damage is affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, and Timeless GX. Take another turn off this one. Oh, Tierra, thanks so much, my friend, this is awesome! That is really, really awesome, thanks so much, my friend, that's absolutely awesome! And the Urim Gurus, resource management. Oh, funny enough, I'm actually looking for these Urim Gurus, so thanks for reminding me to look for these. And old school Pikachu! Thanks so much, Tilda. I really appreciate it. This is awesome. Um, yes, definitely want to accept this. And Johnny Quest, awesome pulls. I'll send you those packs later. Thanks so much, my friend. I really do appreciate them. Yeah, everyone, definitely send Johnny Quest some, some love and Jamie Viggy some love. It was thanks to those two awesome, awesome fans that I was able to put this video, this, this pack opening and this video together. So definitely chat, hit up Johnny Quest and hit up uh, Jamie Viggy. Awesome. Thanks so, so much for it. I really, really appreciate it. Today was an awesome, awesome day. Um, some really great new cards. Really great new cards. Um, yeah, overall, very happy with these. Some pretty good pulls overall. Um, that Diogo is a very nice one. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, well, also some really nice highlights from today. For me, some really nice highlights. Again, that Katana GX is awesome. Thanks so much for that, that trade. I really do appreciate it. Um, where are they now? Where are they? Oh, it doesn't show all of them. Um, yeah, that Spirit Tomb was definitely a big, a big bonus for me today as well. Overall, I'm very happy with these pulls. That Spirit Tomb was a good pull. Uh, I'm trying to think what actually got pulled today. My mind was like, Poof. that welder was a cool, a really cool pull. That fire energy was a really cool pull. The Venomoth was great. I'm really glad I got the, uh, all those Kogas going. Um, definitely very happy with that. Um, yeah, today was a good day. Is trading separated by region or something? It shouldn't be. Um... I think 
Uh, Order the best boy. I don't know if I have you as a friend. Uh, what's your in-game name? Because as far as I know, you have just... I think we have to be friends before you can send it. Um, as far as I know, you have to be friends before you can send it. God of Um, yeah, I don't think we're friends. I'll send you a friend request quickly. Because it shouldn't be region locked. As far as I know, it's not region locked. Do you have a Darkness Raw GX? I don't believe I do. No, I do not. I don't believe I have one. Uh, no, I do not have one. Uh, which one is this? Sword Charge? A scar charge, sorry. Once you turn before you attack, you may put three damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, so you should take up to three energies and attach them to this Pokemon. Oh, that's crazy. Crushing Punch. Discard special energy card from your opponent's active Pokemon. And Darkest Tornado. GX. The attack does 50 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Oh, that's a really cool card. I like that. Alright. Um, unfortunately, I do have to end it here, everyone. Because I've got my AC repair person coming today to finally fix it. Use that card of Weevil to move energies. Oh, that's an awesome combo. I didn't get the request. Really? Oh, it didn't. Sorry, it didn't copy the O. Why is it not copying the O? That's weird. Sorry, it's not typing up properly. Uh, I tried to copy it, but it didn't work. Guard for uh, Silvio. Sorry, you should get it now. Um, it didn't send previously because when I copy pasted, for some reason it didn't copy properly from my chat, which is really weird. So I do apologize for that, but you should have it now. Um, what do you know, best boy? Yeah, there you go. It just popped up now. I can see it. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really did uh, appreciate you all coming through. For those of you on Twitch, Awesome chat today. I really love chatting to everyone and engaging with the community. It's one of my, it's the actual reason I do the Twitch streams. It's just to engage with everyone. So thanks so much for putting through. I really enjoy chatting to everyone and thanks for all the hints and just let me know like what to do and like the suggestions. I really do appreciate that because I'm still learning. So I really do appreciate that. Tomorrow, same time, right? Um, yes, I will be doing a stream same time tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing. I haven't actually played Theme for a while, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing because I really want to practice my Inteleon. So I might be playing Inteleon tomorrow, or otherwise I might be doing deck building. I actually quite like the idea of doing some deck building tomorrow. Um, I think let's rather do that. Let's do some Let's do some good deck building tomorrow. So same time tomorrow, deck building. I want to put together my Stone Jordan deck and, I don't know, maybe a Special Condition deck. We'll see how tomorrow goes. But yeah, same time tomorrow, and let's do some deck building. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't joined the Discord already, definitely join the Discord. The community is awesome and super, super active. <laughs> Sometimes too active. After getting home from work, I've got <laughs> more messages than I'd like to count to go through. Um, but really awesome community there. So definitely jump in the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, if, you have, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out, and every milestone, uh, do giveaways and hint hint nudge nudge there are a lot of giveaways happening next month I've literally got a giveaway for every week so stay tuned on YouTube there are a lot of good things coming next month as always thank you so so much everyone I really appreciate all um, all the support and I really hope this content continues to be enjoyable thanks so much everyone cheers enjoy